Thanks for checking out this movie review video. This is for the 2019 film Porno, and it is a Shutter exclusive. It is coming Tuesday, November 24th. So if you're looking forward to seeing this film for Thanksgiving or a little bit before Thanksgiving, it'll be available. I'm releasing this review one day before it hits Shutter. So just know that this is a no spoiler review because I'm releasing it beforehand. Plus, it's a new release. So just so you know. Oh, another just so you know. This was emphasized in the email I got with my screener and all my information from Shudder. This film was produced by Cinestate. Now, I don't know if you're familiar with all the stuff that went on with Cinestate, but basically Shudder will no longer be working with Cinestate, but they had already purchased the rights to Porno, and I believe they did Castle Freak as well, the remake. Um, and there might be one or two other ones I don't know yet. But they have severed ties with Cinestate. They will not work with them in the future because of all the stuff that went down. That basically they had a producer who was doing a lot of the films who was a Harvey Weinstein type. Um, was sexually harassing a lot of people. And uh, they were enabling it, apparently. So, not good. So it's good to hear that they are like, we worked with these people, now we know what's going on, we're done. Okay, so good. Anyway, moving on from that. So the film Porno, directed by Keola Rossella, uh, who did the film Beast Under the Bed, which I've not seen, written by Matt Black and Lawrence Vanicelli, who did the film Vera, also have not seen. Uh, quick synopsis of this without giving too much away, but the log line that's out there in the trailer that's out there, it tells you pretty much everything about the premise of the film. Uh, the events are what, you know, I'm not going to spoil, basically. So it's basically about a bunch of teenagers who are trying to be very good Christian kids, but there is the temptation of sexuality uh, that they're coming into, and they work at a movie theater that's run by a strongly Christian individual who's trying to keep them on the path of righteousness, basically. But they stumble across a film that has... Uh, I think in the logline they say it's a tr it's a, like a porno film. It's not really a porno film. It has nudity and sexuality in it. So they find this film, and the film releases something. Something not of this world. And uh, it's not good, obviously. So then we get into everything happening. Now, I will say up front with this film, I'm not the biggest fan of it. I can see where some people would really like this, but for me, it was very long, drawn out, and boring which, uh, for the most part, there were some good things here that redeemed it a little bit, and I'll talk about that stuff. But overall, I didn't really like this film so much, and I would not watch it again. If people are asking me my honest opinion on it, I would not recommend it. But, like, like I've said before, I feel like every film is worth watching one time just so you can make your own mind up on it. These are all just my opinions, so... Uh, it starts with dread-filled music, and then it ends up cutting to something that is totally different in the film, which I did find to be a good comedic transition. Now, that does set the tone for the film, which I thought was smart to do that, you know, very early on, to say, you know, yes, this is a horror film, but it's not a serious horror film. It's very tongue-in-cheek. There's com uh, comedy aspect to the film, and it's there throughout. Now, the question then is going to become... Is this your type of comedy? Um, or do you guys find funny what is supposed to be funny in the film? For me, they they got me a few times. A few times I was like, yeah, that's pretty funny. Um, I didn't laugh out loud at any point, but that's hard to make me do, when I'm, especially when I'm watching a movie on my own. But they did have a few moments where I was like, yeah, that's actually pretty funny. But for the most part, it's just like, for me, the comedy was okay. Uh, but like I said, they had a few that really hit, and I enjoyed that. And the beginning is a good way to make it kind of comedic because like I said sets the tone I can I can relate to the characters in this on a very superficial level of just being um, horny teenagers I mean we've kind of all been there before but unfortunately that's kind of all the characters are is horny teenagers there's not a whole lot of depth to the characters they try to give them a little bit of something extra interesting but it's not much, honestly, and they're very one-dimensional, they're very blah characters, and for that reason, you don't really find yourself caring about them all that much, and when they have dialogue with each other, and when they're trying to have scenes where they're developing their relationship, or, you know, going deeper into the relationship, or just having the characters interact, 
it's boring because you're not really going anywhere. And for that reason, the film feels like it spins its wheels a lot and is just not progressing. And that's annoying, especially with the fact that it's a little bit over an hour and a half long and the material's not there for an hour and a half. This is definitely one of those films, I know I've talked about it before, where it feels like they were really stretching the time to hit a certain runtime. Don't do that. Take a cue from a film like Host. They were just like an hour long, actually a little bit under an hour long, because that's all the story they had to tell. This film is one of those films where they don't have enough story to tell over that runtime. Uh, I think I wrote in my notes that it's about a half hour worth of story stretched to a little bit over an hour and a half. That is bad. That is not good. Uh, once again, just my opinion. Some people may feel differently, but... Mm. This is a bunch of the typical morality tale trappings to it, so a lot of the stuff will be very familiar to people, uh, but they kind of add that, you know, comedic touch to it, so that kind of makes it more okay. You know, when, when you can successfully inject some comedy into things that are tired old stories, that's a good thing. It, it, it makes it a little bit more fresh, and it makes makes it people a little bit less critical of just doing same old, same old. But I would argue that the concept with this film is a very good one. My problem is that it just seems like it's a very half-baked idea. Like, they had this great idea, but they didn't develop it a whole lot. And they really just needed to take more time to really develop the story, really develop the characters, because the characters are so basic. Um, give us more interest. Give us more interest in this film other than... Here's this fun concept, we're now going to waste a lot of time and give you little bits and pieces here and there that'll make you feel good about what you just saw, but for the most part, you're probably going to be bored. It's just, they needed to take more time with it. It's a mediocre script, a very mediocre script, and I don't fault like the performances of the actors. I thought they did a totally fine job. I think they probably did the best they could with what they were given. Uh, the director, not necessarily the director's fault either. Like I'm saying, the script, the story, it's just not there. The directing's fine, no problem. I found myself hoping they would get to the good, gory fun much earlier than they did. One of the problems is once they eventually get to the good, gory fun, which the first bit of that is like an hour into the film, I was like, okay, let's go for a lot of this. An hour into the film is the first thing that happens of any real interest to horror fans. Not good. Um, it's not that great, but they do have one scene in particular that I do have to give them credit for because it's something I did not think they would end up showing. It is particularly gross. It is particularly um, wince-inducing for some people, most likely. You know, when you see something on screen where you're like, ooh, that would hurt, that would hurt so bad. I'm sure that will hit hit for a lot of people uh and it's kind of funny so i really liked that one moment in the film i thought they did an awesome job with that now if they could have taken that spirit that character to the film and spread it throughout it would have been awesome but they didn't it was just like this one particularly inspired moment where they pulled off something great and then the rest of the film is not that great some of the music becomes really over the top in this film, but I will say that it's tempered a little bit by the fact that there is the comedy to it because some of that over the top then just plays a little bit into the comedy of it. Uh, but still, I did get a little bit annoyed with how over the top and in your face and beating you over the head some of the music was with it. Uh, once again, this bears reiterating. The characters are very basic and one-dimensional, so it makes it very uninteresting when time is wasted with character interactions, they keep retreading the same stuff over and over and over again. Need more gore gags. That's one of the big things. There's not enough gore gags in this. Not, not even close, in my opinion. Not even close. Something semi-worthwhile happens about an hour in, like I said, but it took way too long. Uh, I, I gave credit where credit was due with that one particular scene, so just know that. Um, and, you know, maybe it's worth watching just once just for that one scene because it is a very good scene. It's a very good scene. Uh, the film kind of peters out a little bit at the end, too. Uh, once again, like a lot of the scenes, it goes too long. The end gets stretched out too long. You don't need to do that. Like, there's something to be said for brevity when it's appropriate. 
This is the age-old story of kids giving into temp temptation and being punished or being sought to be punished for that uh, age-old moral tale. Once again, like I said, I think it's a great concept. I just think it's half-baked and not developed well enough. The film uses some slightly successful comedy and a solid amount of nudity to try to distract from the fact that it is a half-baked story with a mediocre script. So one of the questions will be, are you okay with being distracted by that? Some people, sure. And that's great. I, I mean, I wanted to love this film because going into it, I love the concept. Just didn't hit for me. Uh, yeah, and like I said, it's like 30 minutes of film stretched to about an hour and a half, a little over an hour and a half. So anyway, uh, with five stars possible with half stars in play, where am I putting this one? I thought about giving it a one and a half star rating, but the fact that they did that one particular scene and I actually laughed at some of the comedic stuff, well, internally, I'm going a two-star rating. So, there you go. I feel like I'm a little generous on this, but yes, two-star ratings. And I know some of you out there are going to watch it, and you're going to be like, what are you talking about? I love this. And that's fine. Put some comments down here. Let's talk about it. I would love to hear what you particularly liked about the film. Or if you're also going to say, hey, you know, I'm with you. I didn't really enjoy it. We can talk about that, too. Uh, we can also talk about what we wanted this film to be going into it. And then you can talk about, hey, it totally hit those expectations or it didn't. And this is what I would like to see. Let's get nerdy. So, and go ahead, spoilers in the comments. Just know that spoilers in the comments. We're all good for that. But anyway, do me a quick favor. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, that way, you know, anytime I'm, you know, doing, well, you have to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And that way, you know, anytime I'm putting up another movie review, but also like unboxings or doing a live stream or anything like that. But also just subscribe just to let me know you, you enjoy anything I'm doing. That's my best way to gauge where I'm at. I am trying to grow my channel. Um, I think still my an analytics are basically like over 70% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So my channel would be way bigger if people would just subscribe. And it, it's totally painless. There's no negative effect for you. So if you could, please, I would appreciate that. But anyway, I do appreciate you taking your time to watch this. And until next time, keep it brutal.